Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, we've got another Black Series version of Boba Fett here. This is the Jedi Ruins uh, Tython version. Um, the most recent version. This is just starting to hit some stores here in Australia. I got this, I did manage to pick this one on eBay. A little bit less than what it's uh, coming, coming in stores for. So I feel like I won there. <laughs> um, love the artwork on the side. This is number 22 from The Mandalorian. Once regarded as one of the most fierce, fearsome and capable bounty hunters in the galaxy, Boba Fett seemingly met his demise in the Sarlacc pit on Tatooine. A survivor to his core, Fett lived to fight another day. So this is from the Mandalorian Season 2 episode, The Tragedy, where Boba Fett is, you know, reacquainted with his armor um, that is embodied with his chain code. Um, and yeah, we have had the repainted version. And... Uh, we're still just waiting on the Book of Boba Fett, um, his outfit in that series, um, which I dare say we'll probably use most of the same parts, um, just in need of so probably some more, so just different legs and a repaint. So <laughs> no doubt we'll have that one coming up very, very soon. So we'll just quick, quick, another look at the packaging here and uh, we'll crack into it and have a look at the figure. All right, here he is. Now, yeah, pretty much exactly the same as the uh, Boba Fett we just recently had in the deluxe line, which is the sort of the... Um, can't remember the planet, but it was the one where he sort of repainted his armor. Uh, the throne room one, basically. Um, yeah, they've, they've, they called it the throne room one, um, based on that sort of end credit scene from season two of Mando. So yeah, not a lot different with this figure compared to the last ones, just colours, you know. He's uh you know, his armor's still, you know, hasn't got much paint on it due to what happened with the Sarlacc. But um yeah, it's got he comes with his weapon here, his blaster rifle. So it's the same one we've seen a few times now. No, I don't think he actually had it in this episode. It wasn't until that later episode of season two where he had this at least I don't recall, because I do remember he was utilising pretty much everything that he has on his armour, plus this pistol. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep him armed with this pistol, just for a certain difference of display. Also comes with his jetpack, um, which, you know, it is just a repaint of the regular jetpack, but they've painted the uh, sort of silver rectangle on there, just to sort of symbolise the fact that it was patched up by Cobb Vanth. Um... Yeah, the missile is removable on this one. So it's, yeah, a little bit more of his sort of Return of the Jedi look. So yeah, he has since repainted this um, in, you know, the nice sort of green colours. So that will peg onto his back. And as I've done with other Boba Fetts, I'll probably end up gluing that on just because I've no need for Boba Fett to not wear a jetpack. He's too cool. <laughs> does have a working holster there for that pistol too, which is nice. And then we get his helmet, which is, you know, looks pretty nice. A bit of extra weathering there, looks good. And uh, yeah, this is a new mould from the original one. I think. I don't know. Yeah, that because that Return of the Jedi one was sort of glued on, but it was, you know, very messed up. So this one feels a lot sturdier. It's still soft, but, you know, it's going to sit nicely on his head there. And yeah, I really like this version of Boba. I loved him in that episode. Um, yeah, sort of been hanging out for this figure. He will look good with Fennec. Side by side with Mando. Pretty much got a lot of figures from that, that whole sort of scene now. We've got the, uh, got the Dark Troopers from that episode. Storm Troopers. Catapult. Uh, the Mortar Trooper. The Artillery Trooper. But yeah, let's get him up close. I know my lighting's a little bit off the mark at the moment, but... Uh, I think the detail's still sort of coming through. And I am using a new phone, so <laughs> I'm just trying something different with the new phone. So we'll see how that goes. 
yeah, I did I did attempt a custom at this version of Boba, but yeah, I always knew I would pick this one up when it came out. As much as I do enjoy doing a custom, I do enjoy getting the real thing. Just, I don't know, that's just me. <laughs> I'm a sucker for all the official releases and everything. Even though I'm not buying everything anymore. <laughs> gotta, gotta draw the line somewhere. Yeah, he's got his, uh, you know, knee darts under there. I, was, I still love this figure, the way it's sort of sculpted. Um, yeah, you can see the backpacks, just the jetpacks sort of falling out quite a lot, just because it's really only held in by the sort of rubber outer, outer armour. It's just got that base sort of skeleton underneath. But yeah, dig it. It's nice to have more Boba Fetts in the collection. <laughs> you know, they're going to keep giving them out with the, uh, you know, super inflated Boba tax. It's just death taxes and overpriced Boba figures. That's what we get in the world. That's the three big things in life. <laughs> three things that are certain in life. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think. What kind of Boba Fett do you want to see next? I'd personally like to see a young Boba Fett from the Clone Wars. I think that would be really cool. But that's all good. All right, thanks for tuning in, folks. We'll see you on the next video. And until then, may the Force be with you always.